Hi, I'm Frank Tybush. I'm a filmmaker and I'm interested in history. Work brought me to Fells Point, a historic district in Baltimore, Maryland. It's one of the oldest communities in the country and all around you see history being preserved and history dying. That got me thinking, how do people save history at risk? Hi, and welcome to the next episode of History at Risk. I'm here in Broadway Pier, and as you can see, there's some holiday cheer going on. Put on by the nonprofit organization Fells Point Main Street, Old Time Christmas is in its ninth year. Why Old Time Christmas? Is it just a catchy name, or does the celebration actually hold a slice of history? I'm going to talk with Fells Point Main Street to see what their organization and their event is doing to help preserve history here at Fells Point. Let's go and wrap some history. Could you introduce yourself? Uh, I'm Juliette Richter. I'm the president of Fells Point Main Street. And what does Fells Point Main Street do? Well, our mission basically is the revitalization of our neighborhood. We ensure that you know, like the, histori the history and the historic buildings are preserved, but you know, part of our mission is to ensure that you know, like our businesses do well. So we have these events to try to drive merchant, I mean, business to our merchants. Now, this event, Old Time Christmas, what's the history of it? Well, actually, Old Time Christmas is a very old tradition in Fells Point. And at the time, they used to have carolers that would walk around the streets in Fells Point. Uh, they would have readings of uh, Dickens in the various hotels, like the Admiral fell in. And then everybody on the square used to put candles in their windows. Why a traditional holiday market? Well, we're, we're trying to emulate you know, what has been done in Europe and in England for centuries. It encourages people to come out you know, like to sample you know, like the local goods and merchandise. And it just lends a very festive air, you know, like to the area. Now, what does Main Street, or Fells Point Main Street, do to help preserve history around here in Fells Point? Well, one of uh, the items that we are involved in is uh, the, our facade improvement program. So we sort of guide them, and this helps new businesses who have no idea about the tradition or the history or the need, you know, like to keep the historic character of our district. Interesting. So you basically almost like find a place for people who aren't familiar with, you know, the what this place looks like, how to fit in with the community. Exactly. Excellent. Exactly. Well, thank you very much. And uh, I'm going to go enjoy the festival now. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Just you. do that. Okay. Bye now. Bye. I'm here with Mark Walker. He does the Punch and Judy show at the Old Time Christmas Celebration. Thank you very much for talking with us. Oh, sure. Thank you. Thank you. Could you tell me a little bit more about yourself and your history with Fells Point? I, I think I was at one of the earlier uh, Fells Point Fun Festivals. I know my father brought me down here when I was, it had to have been in the 60s. And believe it or not, I saw Dantini down here, and he was just a character. And once you see Dantini, uh, you just don't forget a character like him. And uh, and I started coming down a little bit more for some of the other festivals because he thought it was kind of neat. You know, we lived in East Baltimore, and then um, I actually started to come down to Fells Point a lot more right after my high school days, which would have been in the early 1970s. But then uh, I just started to come down through the years and just started to take it all in like a sponge. I know I've been coming down here doing Punch and Judy for, I think next year makes 20 years I've been doing that. And then uh, when I discovered they actually had a Punch and Judy show in the 1930s, I think it was, performed at Recreation Pier. Really? Yeah, yeah. I found that at the uh, Enoch Pratt Library. Okay, so there's like... History with the, the, the idea yeah. of the Punch and Judy well, show. Well, the, the Punch and Judy show has a real history here in Baltimore. It's been here since 1897. Oh, and okay. actually, the first Punch and Judy show that I know of was performed in Annapolis prior to the American Revolutionary War. And it's so, I was like dumbfounded by yeah. that. But it wasn't a, it was a, uh, it was a British entertainer that okay. performed, but it uh, has a long history here in this particular state. Yeah. So. What's your involvement with the old time Christmas, your history with that? Yeah, 
years ago when um, I know that they had these big Christmas uh, celebrations down here. I don't think they were as la as elaborate as they are now, but they they were still very good. Then it all died out, and and I can't ans answer why that happened. But uh, I was helping out with Fells Point Main Street, and then uh, we were kicking around some ideas what we were going to do, and uh, we just said we were going to try like a Christmas. They were going to have breakfast with Santa, and I said. You know, that's great. I said, but you know, it's not Fell's point. I said, everybody has breakfast with Santa. So why don't we try to approach it with a uh, St. Nicholas? And that's what we came up. And it was like an old fashioned Christmas. Any last little history or tidbits about, about Christmas here in Fells Point that this, this, this festival is bringing well, out? Yeah, I, I mean, I actually, I think it's getting better every year. I remember the first time what we did when you know, it's these little things you don't think about. But every year I would come down here to do my Punch and Judy show, and there would be an, uh, this big naval ship here blocking the view. And that went on for so many years, and I said, that's it, I've had it. <laughs> I'm not going to let that happen again. So then we started to get smart about it, and we started contacting a dock master and said, any other time of the year you can bring a ship down here, but not during a parade in a lighted boat. So that's what we started to yeah. do. So it's all these little like nuance, uh, nuances that we started to do. Well, thank you very much. Sure, sure. And I think we're going to watch your Punch and Judy show. Oh, sounds great. Oh, okay. Thank you. All right. Ignan competition. Let's go. I'm gonna try the Admiral Fell. Does old time Christmas hold a slice of history? After talking with Fells Point Main Street and participating in some of the events, I would say so. And the biggest surprise for me was the Punch and Judy show. Who knew it was performed in this area since before we were a country? Next episode, we'll delve into our nation's history with the War of 1812. Not many people realize the role Fells Point played in the war. We'll talk with some locals to see how they're honoring this memory. See you then.